uh, getting professional photos for our little ones can be very expensive. Yes. So, very expensive. We can be a fortune as photographers. <laughs> and so can here. babies. So here to show us how to create a DIY uh -huh. Easter baby fantasy scene is our very own Tanya Meme. I'm yes, so excited I, about this. Too. I have to tell you, I have to thank you so much and thank you so much because oh. this has been going on for weeks and this is my favorite segment I, know, I think I'm we've so ever excited. done. I'm so excited. Me too. And Mark, I'm so happy too. that we partnered up. We just want to keep it all in the family today and I was, I'm so happy. It was a lot of fun to this. work with you. Yes. Very creative, yes. beautiful environment. And what well, was your inspiration? Well, here's how it all started. Do you guys remember that hot air balloon that I yep. did a little while back, a couple weeks ago? Yep. It went over so well that I wanted to do it again, but I wanted, you know, Easter's on its way, so I wanted to create a fantasy photo scene, an Easter scene with baby Alexandra, because I wanted to keep it all in the family, yep. and I thought it would be just a wonderful gift for you, too. It really is. I'm yep. so, this is her first yes. big photo shoot, this you guys. Is... This is the first time. I know. I well, get to do it with Mark. She was so amazing. Exciting. Just so you know, she was yes. amazing. Yes. All right. Um, so, what was the, the? How did you get started in all this? What What do we need to get started? Okay. So the first thing I did, I started on the eggs. Okay, right here. So, um, well, to get started, okay, so we have the right. eggs, and then we well, have the flowers. That's a big ostrich. That's a big ostrich. Yeah, or dinosaur. Well, <laughs> or dinosaur. That's from Kim Douglas' side. Right. So here's our props. The eggs, the flowers, the blanket, which is just a piece of fabric or a blanket. We've got mm -hmm. the pillows, and then I have this, um, it's like a grapevine wreath that you can get at any craft store. So okay. don't be intimidated by this guy here. All right. And, and you were inspired by um, Ann Gettys, correct? I, yes, Ann Gettys. You know how expensive those photos can be? They could be thousands of dollars. Well, Ann Gettys. Right. Exactly. Well, Mark Lee is expensive. He just well, did us a favor here. Yeah, right. I threw you a bone. But we're showing you how you can get that look at home for about 30 to 40 dollars oh, and wow. have a lot of fun while you're doing it too oh. so wow yeah all right well earlier today uh we got started on the um on the on eggs, the eggs. Oh, yes so you see these little speckled eggs here this is how i made them so super easy bought the plastic eggs at um a craft store and i just spray painted them with it you can spray paint them any color you want i chose blue and then to get the little speckled you know um effect on it oh i just gosh. sort of yeah you just take your paintbrush and just you really did that just it on. it on yeah there. You know what was interesting? If you splat it on before the spray paint dries, it actually creates like a 3D effect, which I kind of like. Like oh, the little, the sure. little speckles sort of stick out a little bit. And so. look how they, they look like little bird's eggs. And by the way, how exciting is this for a little kid if you're on an Easter egg hunt? Because these are real, and you find this. <laughs> well, they look real. You would think you've just won the lottery, because it's the biggest Easter I'd egg I'd want to know what was inside. Never Probably mind. stuffed animals. I'd be a little bit afraid that the bunny was going to come and eat me. <laughs> right. <laughs> like that. So, all right, so how do we get started? Let okay, me help. I, I am so okay. excited about this. Okay, so Mark, I'm going to need your help. Okay, okay. so we're going to do the okay. nest first. All right. Oh, good. I, I can't do off. that. That's what Don't you're good at. I'll take, take them the all pillows. together. Okay. Yeah, so the first step, you want to set it a little far back because you want to be How's able that? to right set there? maybe a little bit, just a tiny bit right there. Okay. You want to create enough space in the front to really sort of add the detail to okay. the front as well. And then next okay. are the pillows, on, of course. You want to make it bit. soft. I'm going to rotate it because that was a little high in front. Okay. And you can okay. rotate it. Check it out and see what looks the best according to the eye of your camera. Okay. Like so you want to make it nice and soft. Then and that'll pop her up, correct? Like that? Yes, however, you, yeah. you're the mom, so you do it. Okay. Is that better? Yep. Or like go. that. Yeah, and then you can either use some fabric, which I bought, or you can use a nice brown, a rich brown, chocolate brown blanket. Whatever you want. And you don't, it doesn't even have to be brown. It was my choice to be brown because I wanted it to match the nest. And then I just took some flowers. I bought some fake flowers. And I'm Everybody just loves sort of fake flowers. Feather them through. So we'll put some here. Okay, some on this side. Now, when we did this, I'll, I'll share this a little bit more in the yeah. second. Uh, uh, coming up next, but Tenya and I worked together on this because I showed her the frame that I wanted to use. Yes, which is so important we to know. didn't. Yeah, so you did not do any garnish outside of that and waste time and energy trying to do the whole area. It was just limited within the frame. So right. it's nice to know if you're going if you're going to shoot this yourself, be it your iPhone or your point and shoot. Kind of get the angle that you want, know if you're going to drop down low or shoot from a higher position, and then sort of mark it and take a picture and know exactly Anyways. where you're going to be putting things into place, and then you don't overdo it. And the other thing, too, is, you know, you don't need a lot of space. So you can take some furniture out of the room to move it around a little bit and just create your little fantasy area just like this. 
and you can, you know, you can change up the flowers, change up the color of the eggs, really have fun with it, and um, create your own fantasy Easter scene if you'd like. Oh my God! This was yes. super easy, and Mark, I had a great time putting this together. Oh, it was a lot of fun. With you. It was so it was exciting. A lot of fun. And so <clears> we're <throat> ready to. Uh, we're ready to have little baby. Put her in here. Alexandra, come in here. Is oh, she here? yeah, we do need the star of the photo. <laughs> yes. Where is she? Come she coming? Here. Oh, there she is. Come here. What are you wearing? Look at my little chicken. <laughs> Chicky, what are you wearing? I'm honored, Debbie, that I oh got to dress your baby up as a chicken. 